All right, so I just watched the Shin Lim and Colin Cloud coll collab on America's Got Talent, right? The video's up, you can go and watch it. Video will be in the description. Um, it's pretty insane, all right? It's pretty insane because it basically takes all the things I've been talking about in the past few videos and puts them all together, right? Shin Lim, okay, is a FISM world champion. Okay, so we can agree that he's one of the best card guys in the world, right? Like this is, you know, I mean, you could say that judging is subjective, blah, 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 blah. Listen, he won America's Got Talent. He won America's Got Talent champions. He has a re res residency in Las Vegas. He won FISM. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like he, you could, you could make the argument. He's one of the best, if not the best card guy in, in the world. Okay. So he can do very, very visual stuff. He, you know, he can do very, very like impactful magic that doesn't necessarily require you to, to perform. Okay. You've seen him. He performs pretty much silent to music and it hits you hard because there's the music involved. Um, but it's all about the magic. Okay. So his magic is so powerful that you will just watch the magic. You will watch the puzzle and be like, what the hell did he just do? Most magic is not that good. Okay. And even his magic, if you watch a, a full hour show of him doing just silent card work for the camera, that will get stale. Okay. It, it just will. It'll do. You get to a point where you've seen too much of the same type of stuff. There's so, only so much you can do silent. Okay. Colin Cloud, on the other hand, he is the exact opposite. Okay, nothing he does is visually powerful. There's no things vanishing, things disappearing. He's not, um, he doesn't have any physical skills or talent. Uh, what he does is he plays with the mind, right? So he's psychic, whatever. Like that's this type of magic he performs or the type of he's a mentalist really but in terms of his performance right that's what he's performing to be if that makes sense so he requires a lot of patter a lot of performance a lot of actual you know leading you down a narrative you know taking you somewhere taking you on a journey right so colin cloud that's that's his expertise i mean the guy can open a show like no one else. I've seen him open and it just hooks you straight away. You know, um, when, when they came and did the show in New Zealand and I've done reaction videos about, um, uh, Chinlin performing in New Zealand. I was part of that show. I've, I've talked about the show in previous videos. I won't go over that, but, um, what was, was interesting is that they've used similar ideas, right? So they, they, they would merge guys that perform really, really, strong magic okay that doesn't require you to be performance based and then they'll merge guys then they'll add a guy that's very performance based the magic is secondary he's telling a story it's still amazing but that's not the point right like the point is you know like rob is a brick he would talk about how his dead uncle is in his is in this jug and then he like does some shit with it or you know what i mean like it's it's funny dark comedy blah 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 right and then they'll go back and forth they'll go shin lim Sorry, they'll open with Colin Cloud, then he'll get Shin Lim out there, then he'll go back to Colin Cloud, then they might go to uh, to, to Hector Mancha, which is another FISM world champion. He does like sta uh, Grand Prix, I think. He does uh, stage stuff, which again is very visual, completely to music, no words. And then it goes back to Rob Zabricki, right? So then it's just constantly taking you down to narrative, strong magic, crazy narrative, strong magic. And I think that's why Shin Lim and Colin Cloud work so well. What they did in this performance in the AGT, they combined the mentalism that Colin Cloud was performing with the visual crazy strong magic that that um, that Shin Lim does. So Colin would use these various mentalism methods to get out some piece of information or to you know to say okay choose tell me a name, and then Shin would like spread the cards and the name would appear. You know what I mean? And that is such a good combination because you're getting literally the, the elite, the cream of a, the crop in both fields, right? So as I said, I just dropped some goddamn cards. As I said, right, you have like these guys that are super, super talented with the magic. Then you guys, have, you guys, you have guys that specialize super well in like the performance aspect, you know? And I think like, for example, Darren Brown, crazy performer, right? 
not the most sleight of hand, you know, like, he's a mentalist, so it makes sense, but I mean, you know what I mean, like, he doesn't make shits flow, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything crazy, like, visually, but he's such a good performer, and he, you know, he'll, he'll have, he can paint well, and does all these crazy skill sets, that, you know, he's amazing. So, the Shin Lim Colin Cloud combination is insane, crazy. Uh, worked so well in the show in New Zealand. I'm sure it works so well when they do their shows. I think they do the Limitless shows in Vegas, I, I believe. Um, very inspiring to see these dudes, man. You know, like, knowing what I know, I mean, to be honest, Colin Cloud kind of blew me off. <laughs> I mean, nah, he's, he, listen, he was, he, he did a lecture, he was still wearing his crazy makeup and shit. Um, he was hanging out with some girl, and then I, I rock up and I'm like, dude, I love your shit, blah, blah, beautiful stuff. And he kind of just goes, thanks, man, thanks. And then kind of like, makes it clear that I'm not, you know, he didn't want to hang, like, talk or anything. So, I don't know him very well. You know, I said hi to him and shit. Um, but with, with Shin, I've, I've actually had conversation, a pretty long conversation. We, you know, we had lunch and stuff. And just knowing what I know about, like, their process and his process and, like, the, the, the ethic and the crazy hard work and where he started. I remember him being on The Wire and, like, you know what I mean? I, I kind of I kind of watched him come up, like, I remember him wearing that black and red, the red tie with the black shirt. You know, that was all the time. Um, but, yeah, you know, so I kind of watched him and then I met him and I talked to him and then I see him, like, you know, do all these collaborations and, and, and perform at the highest level possible. And it's super, super crazy to watch, man. Um, and it was such a cool thing and, and the, in the show in the, in the performance they were doing on they did on, on the America's Got Talent just now um, they, they did so many emotional links they linked it to the baby they linked it to this they linked it to that um, that it's such a mentalism thing to do you know that's a classic mentalism thing you link whatever piece of information you're able to discern or to you know present to them as as if you didn't know that know it you link that to emotive things in their life and then that actually triggers them to feel it more um it's very interesting um yeah and it's really cool to see so i, I really enjoyed it man like i think these two have a really really good um like they have a really good like um what's it called synergy that's right yeah so they have really good synergy i think they're they're you know they're made for each other in terms of the their performance styles you know they, they kind of like complement each other really well just as you start to kind of i mean don't get me wrong you wouldn't get bored of their performance but just as you start to the, you know the, the impact of shin's style starts to wear off right because the first time you see it you don't know what's about to happen you don't know what to expect it hits you so hard right once but you, it's a point where it kind of you start to expect those things from him and then they go back to colin and just throws you off again and you're like what the hell just happened and then you go back to shin so it's it just constantly keeping attention constantly keeping you on edge Love it. Great show. I'm, uh, you know, nothing I can say about that. So that's it. If you enjoyed that video, click the subscribe button. Actually, the bell button is a little bit more juicy. It's got a bit more, it got a bit more juice. You know what I'm saying? If you click that button, the, the, the bell button, it's got, it's got some juice. I'm telling you right now, dude. It might even come with some sauce. You know what I'm saying? It's got that juice, dude. You, you, need, you need that juice in your life, bruv. Get that juice, son. Get it. Get that juice, dude. Also, um, follow, follow Eunice, the editor. All of the social medias are down below. Check them out. Press the button, dude. What the hell are you doing, man? Not to kind of, the impact. I just dropped more cards, dude.